For weeks, scenes like this have played out on East Coast beaches. Ten dead whales with scientists wondering why. Uh, anybody who thinks that it's not extremely serious is, uh, is very mistaken. Minister Dominic LeBlanc took an aerial survey to observe some of the remaining 500 endangered North Atlantic right whales. 2% of the global population has wound up dead on Canadian coastlines since June. Preliminary reports suggest snow crab fishing gear may be one of the causes. This year, fishermen were allowed to catch twice as much as last year. Um, whether it meant that there was more gear out there, there were more people physically out fishing, that's uh, still information we're waiting for from Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Um, but in the end, we had more right whales entangled in the Gulf than we probably ever had before. The other issue is whales being hit by ships. Necropsy reports show some of the whales died of blunt trauma, likely from impacts with large vessels. Protecting these mammals from busy shipping lanes is an upstream battle. LeBlanc has asked companies to slow to 10 knots when passing through whale habitats, but some companies have decided not to comply. Uh, if we were to do that, and that's half speed, which is double the time, and a seven-day service would become something much longer. So uh, the impacts would be huge financially as well directly, uh, you know, because time is money. Underpinning all of this is pressure from south of the border. Last year, the United States passed a law that allows it to ban seafood imports if it's found that the fishing process kills or significantly injures marine mammals. And if a country doesn't take its responsibilities, then one of the potential remedies uh, is uh, a restriction into the U.S. market. That means protecting the whales and saving Canada's half billion dollar a year snow crab fishery have both reached a critical stage. Brett Ruskin, CBC News, Halifax.